so years after Palakot air strikes rocked Pakistan, Islamabad deploys the TPS-77 near the international border with India. Multi-role radar system built 58 kilometers from the border. Is Islamabad worried about another Indian strike on terror? Can Lockheed Martin made system stop Indian forces? Why is Pakistan deploying the TPS-77 radar? Amid Pakistan's crushing debt and collapsing economy, is a million-dollar radar system bang for the buck? As India modernizes military, Pakistan hopes to counter with the TPS-77. Just over four years ago, on February 26, 2019, Indian Air Force crossed into Pakistani airspace, bombed a terror hideout and killed multiple terrorists. The daring attack on terror has been immortalized as the Balakot airstrike, an attack which the Indian government called a preemptive strike. The bombing raid then erupted into a massive diplomatic row. War loomed over the two nations, but that was nothing new. What was new was the shock value of the strike. Islamabad was left reeling. The Indian Air Force had cut through its border defences like a hot knife through butter. Pakistan's confidence was in tatters and that called for massive changes. In comes the Lockheed Martin TPS-77. In early March 2023, Islamabad deployed the TPS-77 radar system in a cantonment just 58 kilometers from the international border. The TPS-77 developed by Lockheed Martin is a multi-role radar system considered one of the most advanced radar systems. It is hardly cheap to buy. The radar is a low power consuming, easily transportable and deployable high-tech system. It can detect smaller drones as well as low-flying planes. Of course, the latest deployment of the radar system is not the first Pakistan bought. In fact, the TPS-77 was introduced for the Pakistan Air Force way back in April 2008. The US-based defense manufacturer had won an $89 million contract for six ANTPS-77 transportable radar systems for Pakistan in 2005. At the time, the then chief of Pakistan's Air Force, Tanvir Mahmood Ahmad, had subtly warned India. It is very important that the other side should continue to get the message that it will not be prudent to take on to your smaller neighbours. It seems Ahmad had never predicted that the Indian Air Force would dare to cross into Pakistan's territory to protect its own interests. The former Pakistani air chief could also have not predicted the March 2022 Brahmos missile misfire, an accident which once again sent shockwaves down Islamabad's spine. The misfire was all the more problematic because it revealed a gap in Pakistan's radar coverage. Islamabad seems to have been quick to respond. Now the latest radar site near the border has been set up after a similar site came up in Badin Sindh. But what does it mean for India? And why is Pakistan worried all of a sudden? Another question that arises is, should Islamabad be spending millions on a radar system while its army starves? It is not for outsiders to question how Shabazz Sharif spends taxpayer money while his nation goes broke. What we will look at is how it might impact the ability of Indian armed forces. With a maximum reduction range of over 450 kilometers, the TPS-77 will certainly raise questions for the Indian Air Force. For one, it will act as an early warning system against any future surprise attacks by the Indian armed forces. This means Islamabad will also have a better chance of protecting the terrorists it rears in its backyard. In 2019, the Pakistan Air Force had intercepted one Indian aircraft. The dogfight that ensued gave rise to the legend of Captain Abhinandan Vartaman. Legends and heroics aside, it was a sticky situation with an Indian officer crash landing in Pakistani territory after downing their aircraft. With tensions rising between the two nations, Islamabad's latest alarm bell will also cause trouble for India to deploy drones. 
The highly capable TPS 77 not just has air traffic control capabilities, it also provides critical situational awareness. In the event of an outright conflict between India and Pakistan, the enemy will certainly have an ace up their sleeve. On the other hand, Indian armed forces have shown their creativity time and again to deal with problems. And with the location of the radar sites available even on Google Maps, it may be easier for the Indian military to deal with Pakistan's TPS-77.